All right, with Henry Yoki Haru and Henry, I mean, walk us through your season. Uh, began the year with the Chicago Blackhawks, and then got ample time and ice time down here with the Rockford Ice Sogs. But first, real pro year for you, and, and getting to the North American style underneath your belt. Where do you feel like you excelled in your in your season this year? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's, I think it's a long, pretty long season so far, but uh, it's it went pretty fast. And so lots, kind of lot, lots of upside downs and uh, World Juniors and. Come, Came here, and uh, I'm pre pretty happy with my first first year pro. And with that being said, I mean, how did you handle all that, the transitioning, whether it was, like you said, from World Juniors to the NHL, NHL to the AHL, back again? I mean, what what did you feel like you needed to keep yourself grounded to, to stay positive, and ultimately, what part of your game stayed constant throughout? Oh uh, yeah, like you say, you just got to stay positive and just keep the right mindset. You don't want you don't want to be too too mad or sad. Just got to send you know, if you go to the World Juniors or or got sent down here. I think. I think. But uh, one part of my game, I don't know. I don't know. Just, I just play my own game. Just try to be good with the puck. Well, you were certainly thrust into all different kinds of scenarios: five on five, four on four, overtime, power play, penalty kill. You even grabbed your first uh, North American goal here with the Rockford Ice Sogs. What offensively did you like about your game to to open up and be able to contribute? I think. I think I figured out a little bit, a little bit offensive zone better over here in the HL. Like see. See some players a little bit better. What I will not think about in NHL, and uh, I think that's that's a good key for next year. And what did you learn about yourself with all the transitions, with all the noise going on around you, the different movement and everything? As you as a player, I mean, you have to dig deep sometimes and battle through. What attribute did you discover about yourself that you relied on to to help you through some of those moments? I think just just, just try to block the every noise around you. Just play the game. Just love the game. Just do your thing and just not be worried about anything else. And with that being said, too, you had some friends here on this Rockford Ice Hogs roster. I imagine that probably helped shoulder and, and take some of that pressure off, some of that uh, anxiousness off your shoulders and allow you just to, to play your game and go out there and have fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. And uh, just two fans, the Onion King was, was, was great guys for me, for me and treating me really well over here. So big thanks for them as well. Do you feel like that helped you, like get acclimated and get settled in a little bit more, knowing that you have a couple of friends that you can throw ideas off of or just, you know, share some of the trials and tribulations that is a, a pro hockey season? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And I think we, we think, the, think the game obviously gave me the goal, but we think the game same way. We have same kind of thoughts like about the game and we have some good time. And now, obviously, you want to keep progressing in your development and become a full-time NHL player with the Chicago Blackhawks. I mean, where do you feel like you need to take that next step? What needs to be that next step for you this offseason to accomplish that? Uh, I think just next step for me would be consistent in the, in, in the NHL. I think that's, that's the key. It's, it's hard to be a young guy and be consistent, but I think I want to, I'm going to train, train harder in the summer, and uh, I think I will be ready for next season. Is there anything you feel like you need to add to your game to, to be more consistent and, and more fruitful to become a full-time guy? Uh, I don't, I don't, I, right now, I don't think so, but I've got to think of the game a little, bit, a little bit later. Not now, a little bit later after a couple of weeks, maybe think about your game, what you can do better. And uh, I think that way is to start building like new thoughts about how I can get better again. And now uh, the off season is upon us. I know you, you just mentioned you can take a couple of weeks off. Are you going to go home? Are you going to vacation in a different location? How does Henry Yokihara you like to decompress and step away from the game? No, I'll just just chill. Just take my time off of the game. Play, play some golf and just enjoy this beautiful summer in Finland. 